What is going on, everybody? Back with another one. By the time you see this, so probably... Actually, this is just going to be the last video of the new year. So, happy new year to everybody. All of that good stuff. So, you know, 2020, like I said, it's going to be like the competition season. That's going to be kicking off. So, now it's like, you know, we all everybody works hard. I've been working hard. But now it's just like a certain energy that you're going to start to kind of feel kind of rush through like the academy, you know, even just me as an individual, because, you know, this is when it's like, it kind of gets kicked off. Now this is when you can really plan out tournaments that you want to do. And like I said before, you know, I'm trying to really ramp up the competition uh, schedule as much as possible. I need to definitely play some catch up because I didn't compete as much as I wanted to at purple. So now 2020 is here. So hopefully now I can just kind of play a little bit of catch up and I'm you know, kind of just end my purple belt journey, whenever that may happen, on a high note. So I have been posting more of the workouts. Like I said more vlogs will be coming on the YouTube channel, but I will be posting. I post the clips of my workouts on uh, my Instagram page, but every time I do the vlog, I'm going to just start putting the whole uh, workout on the YouTube channel. So people have been asking, what do I do? But everybody's now asking me, so I don't want to, you know, I want to lift weights too. They, they do jujitsu as well, or just some people just in general. They're like, yeah, I want to lift, but I don't want to get big. That's the number one thing I hear, especially when I tell people like I'm going down to a new weight class, you know, I'm dropping weight. They always ask, well, if you're trying to lose weight, why are you working out? And at first I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, it's just the whole misconception. But I keep hearing it over and over and over again. And I'm like, all right, maybe let me make a video about this because yes, lifting weights, depending on how you lift weights, can definitely put size on you. That's why you lift weights. You you know, you have micro tears and when it starts to heal, it heals bigger. That's how building muscle works. I mean, it's definitely not as simple as that, but that's pretty much like the, the basis of how building muscle works. It's small micro tears, you know, in the muscle. And then as you recover, they build, they heal and they build bigger. So that's how you get bigger muscles. But that's not the only type of training like right now what I'm doing is more of a strength and conditioning workout so I'm not focused on getting big at all like I you know I'm dropped two three weight classes the name of the game for me is getting the smallest quote unquote that I can while still staying at a certain strength level so now my workouts are geared towards getting stronger so it's lower reps uh, specific type of workouts I don't use really use machines at you know, much. I definitely incorporate them into my workouts, especially if I have like a nagging injury. But now it's like there's just there's no machines. It's very specific with the exercise that I'm doing. And more uh, full body and compound movements and powerlifting movements. So for me, I'm not the focal when I'm working out. The focal point isn't size at all. It is just right now 100% strength. And I get it. It's always been the misconception. I didn't even know, like, there's many different types of working out and the way you have your program, you fit your program to your goal. And, you know, for me, before really jujitsu kicked off and even before I kind of got into more functional fit training, functional fitness, yeah, I just thought, yeah, I'm lifting weights to get big. I didn't know any other way. I didn't know much of anything else until, until I started really to do research and understand, okay, there's many programs. You know, when I started to hang around like more power lifters, and I started to see, oh, there's just a whole system. There's just a whole separate world just on getting strong. Of course, the size does come with it. I mean, if you're eating X amount of calories and you're not able to burn, you are gonna burn the amount that you're putting in. Of course, you're gonna get, get size and just overall, you're gonna have denser muscles. So, but you're not just gonna be overnight, boom, swole. And that's kind of like what I'm hearing, like, all right, all right, like, let's slow down, everybody. You, you're not going to just get huge next week. You know, if you come with me to the gym four times, you know, last week, you know, that that's that's the part that really gets me. Like, I'll be honest, that's the part that really, you know, gets on my nerves where they're talking to me in like March about how they're going to be swollen in June if they start working out. So that's why they, they don't want to deal with me. It's like, all right, all right, like... Oh, oh, hold on, guys. It's going to take a little bit more than three months to get swole. You know, it's been 12, 13 years for me, and I'm still trying to get swole. You know, it's only now, like, after all the years of working out, 
right now is when I feel I'm at my best, you know, from the size, uh, the strength, the, you know, the, the power to weight ratio. I feel way better than I ever felt through all my years of working out, you know, so it's just you can never learn too much. And that's why I love it. But going back to what we we're talking about, lifting weights does not equate to getting swole, getting big, putting on, getting huge muscles. You know, it's all in how you're training and what you're doing when you get to the gym. Like I said, I told you guys, I'm trying to lean out to a lightweight. Yeah, so I'm not trying to put on any sort, any sort of muscle. You know, I'm focused on getting as strong as possible and as fast as possible. So I'm doing a culmination of like powerlifting movements, uh, weightlifting movements, strongman movements, along with like body weight exercises as well. And you go check that. If you're on my Instagram page, go check it out at Winthorpe Burke. And I'm starting to post more of those exercises just so people can get an idea because they see the transformation and they're noticing, okay, I'm like 30 pounds lighter, but I still feel the same size. I still have the same type of strength that I did when I was heavier. And that's just all on how you formulate your working your, your workout program. And now I'm formulating it to jujitsu. So it's just very you know, explosive movements and conditioning, muscular endurance, you know, cardiovascular endurance. And I talk about that, you know, in numerous videos. But guys, let's break the myth. You will you're not gonna get swole next week. <laughs> you know, it's if you are working towards that, if you are working to pull putting on muscle, putting on size, just getting as big as possible, there's routines for that. If you want to just get stronger routines for that fat if you want to get faster there's routines for that it's just all on what you're trying to do so hopefully i kind of broke the myth a little bit i'm going to talk more about it like i said i'm going to start putting more of the exercise that i'm doing to get myself to that level so definitely make sure you be on the lookout for it you'll know you'll know when i post it and if you subscribe and you hit the little notification button so come on stop playing all right guys i'll be back in a bit thanks for watching peace